A lot of great points made in that story. We're going to kind of build on that. Show you Lake Nacimiento. Levels are down. Lake levels posted on my social media. So we badly need some rainfall. We're in a drought in the state of California. 100% of the state is in drought. Now that story was done in the Central Valley. Exceptional drought. So that farmer there that was explaining, I don't know what normal is anymore. Absolutely true. And we're headed into our third straight La Nina winter that typically produces lower than average rainfall. What's happening right now? It's kind of an interesting situation. We have a ridge of high pressure over the west and a low off the coast. It's kind of wiping out the marine layer that was so deep this weekend mist and drizzle. We talked about that in the forecast last week. The forecast for the next few days warming up. It'll cool for the coming weekend, but right now you've got temperatures in the upper 60s to mid 70s at the coast with the interior temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s south coast in the 70s garden variety onshore wind. But the key to the forecast is that the winds will turn offshore in the morning hours, especially on Wednesday, a little bit on Thursday. Wednesday, I think, is a peak day on heat. 72 Santa Barbara, 69 Santa Maria, 79 Sanchez, 83 Paso, 75 San Luis Obispo for highs. Overnight lows, the interior valleys into the mid 40s, mid 40s Sanchez Valley at the coast, closer to 50 degrees. The winds garden variety up to 15 miles per hour. But before we complain about the weather here, keep in mind there's a deep freeze going on tonight. Look at this freeze warning all the way down through Tennessee, even into Alabama and Mississippi where it turns into frost advisories. And it is snowing in Wisconsin and northern Minnesota, out by Duluth, Superior, Wisconsin, right in there, Milwaukee, Chicago. So for us, interesting setup. We call this a positively tilted trough. This is where you get high pressure here in this back built trough out here. It's not going to do anything. The high pressure is going to hold this low at bay. It's not going to get through the area anytime soon. Now, when the weekend comes, a trough comes up. It sweeps this up, moves across the area. Temperatures drop, but by that time, there's just no moisture to work with. So the temperature outlook, 6 to 10 day below average. Totally believe that. I'm not buying this, and I explain why on my social media and on my story that's up at KSBY.com right now. 77 Santa Maria and Lompoc, 80 San Luis, 89 Paso Robles, 78 in Santa Barbara, North Coast Beaches, 60s to 70 degrees, the deep interior mid 80s, the five cities in the 60s and 70s, and we warm from there into Wednesday. Thursday still 90s in the interior while the coastal area is back off, but for the weekend 60s and 70s and that's true essentially across the board and we're back after this.